Hi, I'm Borna, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I'm going to be explaining the difference between Markovnikov addition and anti-Markovnikov addition to alkenes. Let's get started. Alright, in this video I'm going to be discussing um, Markovnikov addition versus anti-Markovnikov addition. Um, I'm going to be using the HBr addition to demonstrate this concept. Now, if I take an alkene that is asymmetrical, meaning the two carbons are different, this one has two hydrogens, that other one has only one, and react this with HBr without any other thing present, here's what is going to happen. I'm going to add Br to the carbon that has one hydrogen on it already, and the hydrogen to the carbon that has two hydrogens on it already. This we call the Markovnikov addition where hydrogen adds to the carbon that already has more hydrogens on it. So I'm going to write it like this. Hydrogen to the carbon with more hydrogens on it. That is going to be the Markovnikov addition. On the other hand, if I take the same molecule, reacted with HBr in presence of a peroxide, something slightly different is going to happen, actually. I'm going to get Br on the terminal carbon and H on the internal carbon. So this is going to be what the product is going to look like. Actually, let me add Br with red. Stay consistent. Now, in this case, hydrogen is being added to the carbon that has fewer hydrogens on it. And this is why we call this addition product the anti-Markovnikov product. Now, no fundamental law of chemistry is being broken. It's just that the conditions are different. And in this um, video, I'm not going to discuss why it is that we're going to get this product under that conditions and the other product um, under the other set of conditions. It's just to explain um, the vocabulary. So anti-Markovnikov hydrogen added to the carbon with fewer hydrogens. Now, what if the thing that is being added doesn't have hydrogens on it? What if I'm adding, say, BRCN, cyanogene bromide? So when this is being added, two possibilities exist. Either I'm going to add bromine, and let me stay consistent, use red for that, bromine to the terminal carbon and CN to the internal carbon. So these are the two things that are being added, or the other way around. Now, how do we apply the Markovnikov versus anti-Markovnikov terminology to this reaction? Now, the thing is that with HBr, the electrophilic portion of the molecule is the hydrogen. So if the electrophilic portion of the molecule is added to the carbon with more hydrogens, we call that Markovnikov. So electrophilic portion. If it goes to carbon with more hydrogens, that's Markovnikov. If it goes to carbon with fewer hydrogens, that's anti-Markovnikov. And in BrCN, since that bond is polarized towards CN, just like the HBr bond is polarized towards Br, Br is actually playing the role of the electrophile. So if Br is added to the carbon with more hydrogens on it, that we're going to call the Markovnikov addition. If the Br is added to the carbon with fewer hydrogens on it, we're going to call that anti-Markovnikov. So to recap, um, if the electrophilic portion of the molecule that is being added is added to the carbon with more hydrogens on it, that is Markovnikov addition. If the electrophilic portion of the molecule is added to the carbon with fewer hydrogens, that is called the anti-Markovnikov addition. The electrophilic portion of the molecule is oftentimes the H, if you're adding an HX, H2O, H, um, like whatever. But if that molecule doesn't include an H, basically the electrophilic portion based on the difference in electronegativity is going to be the basis of um, this vocabulary. 
Well, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my website, yourocomputer.com. See you in the next video. Take care.